What's up, everybody? I'm David Hain. Welcome to episode 169 of the A to D from Addict to Disciple podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, please like, subscribe, follow, and share the link with your friends. And can I ask you to do me a favor? Get two friends to listen to this episode and then sit down and chat with them about it. If you'd like to get our curriculum, you can get the paperback or ebook of From Ashes to Destiny on Amazon. When we come back, we'll get into this episode entitled, I Got Time. Welcome back to episode 169 of the A to D from Addict to Disciple podcast entitled, I Got Time. Today's episode comes from conversations I have with the guys in addiction about choosing life and realizing that often we choose things that are fun in the moment, but the consequences steal 10 years of our life from us. So let's start with the lyrics from the song Time by Pink Floyd. Here's some of them. Ticking away the moments that make up a dull day. Fritter and waste the hours in an offhand way. Kicking around on a piece of ground in your hometown. Waiting for someone or something to show you the way. Tired of lying in the sunshine. Staying home to watch the rain. You are young and life is long. And there is time to kill today. And then one day, you find ten years have got behind you. No one told you when to run. You missed the starting gun. Deep words. Have you felt like that where you're just sort of kicking around your hometown waiting for something to come along and before you know it, 10 years is gone and you missed the gun at the start of the race, so to speak. So I want to ask you, what moment are you caught up in that will pass and before you know it, it cost you a decade of your life? Are you caught in the moment of the fantasy life of pornography? And before you know it, you lose 10 years of real relationship with your loved ones? Are you caught up in the moment of hustling up money for your drug addiction? And then you wake up in jail and you lose 10 years of your freedom to prison and before you walk off your parole? Are you caught up in the moment of drowning your sorrows in whiskey? And you lose your job, your house, your car, and you find yourself homeless on the street and in and out of shelters for a decade. Well, these are some of the things that I run into. And what I'd like to do today is sort of look at each decade of life. So we're going to start with those guys who are still young, in your teens or your 20s, feeling like your whole life is ahead of you. Do you, like the Pink Floyd song said, fritter and waste the hours in an offhand way? Just focusing on fun, experimentation, no thought of tomorrow, not a care in the world, just living and loving life. But I want to question you, what are you getting caught up in? What is pulling the life away from you disguised as fun? And I'd like to leave you with a quote from Poor Richard's Almanac from 1746. And it says, Do thou love life? Then do not squander time, for that's the stuff life is made of. So if you're in your 20s and 30s, your takeaway is don't squander your time. Make the most of it. So let's look at the next decade. Perhaps you're in your 30s and you think you still have time to party. Maybe you're burdened by having to work 40 hours a week or disillusioned by a marriage gone bad or upset because the money you're earning doesn't pay the bills and finances are a constant hassle. So here you are 35 years old and you're partying like you're 18. You tell yourself, maybe when I turn 40, I'll settle down. Well, I've run into a lot of guys like that who are still trying to figure it out decades later. And I want to leave you, if you're in your 30s, with a quote from Buddha. 
When he was asked, what's the biggest mistake we make in life? Buddha replied, and I quote, the biggest mistake is you think you have time. Time is free, but it's priceless. So if you're in your 30s, your takeaway is, can you remember that time is priceless? And as you carry it into your 40s, that time is priceless. And the biggest mistake is that you have all the time in the world left. So I want to encourage you to choose to invest in your time and not let it fly away from you. So before you know it, you're in your 50s and you wonder where all the time went. You begin to think back on all you lost in the craziness of your youth and young adult years. I've had guys tell me I never thought I'd still be caught up in addiction in my 50s. I really believed I could stop for my children. I thought I could stop to be a good dad. I thought I could stop to save my marriage. I thought I was in control, but in reality, my addiction was in control of me. And I lost all those things and all that time. I lost the opportunities to be the dad I wanted to be, to show my children the love they needed, and also my wife. Well, if that's you, I want to leave you with a quote by author Lynette Evans. And she said, the older you get, the more quiet you become. Life humbles you so deeply as you age, you realize how much nonsense you've wasted time on. So if you're in your 40s or 50s and you're still wondering what's going on and still in your addiction and burdened with so many things, I want to tell you that to just slow down and allow life to humble you so that you can look at how much nonsense you've wasted time on and begin to stop the nonsense end the nonsense and choose to to just live well the last decade we're going to look at today is for the guys who are in their 60s or 70s or even older and you begin to wonder how much time you have left you feel the aches and pains of arthritis your back hurts your knees creak like old wooden floorboards You can't seem to recover as quickly when you get the flu or a stomach bug. And now, your addiction is to numb all the physical pain that you feel in your knees and back and neck, all that arthritic stuff, and your sore muscles. And also, you begin to numb the regrets and the remorse that you have as you're looking back on what your life used to be and what you've lost along the way. You might be looking back on those lost children, lost marriages, lost families, and wondering what your future is. And when you realize that you look back 30 years ago, you still had hope, you still had dreams, and you believed you really could walk away from this thing called addiction. But where did the decades go? How did you get caught up in them? And I want to encourage you that it's so important to catch a hold of where those decades went, what went wrong, so that you can pass on that wisdom. You know, from the show Bosch Legacy on TV, I like a quote that said, when you don't have much time, you think of the time behind you. So how can you think of the time behind you not to wish that you got it all back to do over again, but to look at the time behind you, to see the mistakes you made, to see the lies you told yourself and you believed so that you can help other guys from having to repeat them. In closing, I want to leave all of you with this thought. This is an anonymous quote, and it says, You can't give your life more time, so give the time you have left more life.
Thanks for listening to this episode of the A to D from Addict to Disciple podcast. If you were saying that's me as you listen to the podcast, whether you were the teenager, the guy in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, or whatever, now's the time to reach out and join a group. Message me on the link in this podcast or by email at david from a to d at gmail.com or go to my website www.fromatod.org and click on the contact page. If you're listening on Spotify, you can leave your comments by clicking on the link they provide in that platform. Tune in Monday for our next episode. And as always, stay safe and stay strong.